What's up guys, back with another video, just making a super quick video related to the new B9, Audi S4, S5, SQ5 rocker arm issue that is circulating the B9 forms right now. Just wanted to clear up some confusion for you guys. I do work at Audi, I've got some internal knowledge about this issue. Um, I just wanted to make a brief video on how to inspect and see if you've got the old rocker arms or the updated rocker arms. There's a couple things you can do to find out if you've got the old rocker arm style or the updated rocker arm style. If you've got a B9 and a half facelift car, you're not gonna have to worry about these. This is guaranteed for them to have them, as well as late production 19, early production 19, and some even late model 18 production, depending on your build date, as well as the engine build date. Something to keep in mind about an issue like this is there's bad batches of parts all the time. Audi redesigns parts all the time, Volkswagen, every single brand. That's why we have super sessions of parts. Um, something, like I said, to keep in mind is there are bad batches of parts. Sometimes they redesign them because they change manufacturers of the actual part, but I'm not gonna clear all that up today. I'm just gonna show you how to inspect and see if you've got the old ones or see if you've got the updated ones. See if you've got the old ones. Or the Starting new. off on the inspection, this is a 2019 Audi SQ5. It is a March of 19 build date, production date. Go ahead and remove your oil fill cap, put that off to the side. You can keep your engine cover on. You could take it off, whatever you wanna do. This inspection is only gonna require one simple tool and that is a automotive boroscope. It doesn't even have to be an automotive boroscope. Any sort of boroscope will work that's small enough in diameter, has some sort of light source and some sort of inspection screen. Now you can go ahead and buy one, you can borrow one, you can buy one and return it afterwards, doesn't matter. This one was about $90 on Amazon. It is a Teslong brand. I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description for you guys that wanna get a hand on one of these. If not, like I said, go ahead and borrow one, rent one, whatever it may be, you're gonna need a borosc boroscope for this Moving on to the initial inspection, go ahead and power on your boroscope. Make sure the light is on. What I like to do is position yourself right over the camshaft. Doesn't matter which one it is. You're going to want to go to the left of the camshaft. Go ahead with your boroscope hooking away from you. You're going to want to go down right to the left of the camshaft. And you want to go down far enough so we're to the point where you can see that rocker arm. As you can see, I'm right on top of it. And sure enough, I do have the updated rollers, which are shown here. They are the bigger bearings, not the needle type bearings. If you're unsure, go and look up a picture of the old bearings versus the new bearings. But this will tell you if you've got one here, all of them are going to be updated. You can also view the other one on the other side by going to the other side of the cam cam camshaft. And from there, you'll be able to tell super simple, quick inspection takes one minute. Um, it's the best way to clear it up, whether you got the old ones, the new ones. This is the easiest way to check and have some peace of mind. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and cleared up some confusion. If you got any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Other than that, I'm out. Have a good one. Happy motoring.